All right, what's up guys? We're gonna be doing a little garage roof this morning. I thought I might throw a little, couple tips in there about doing basic truss layout. So we're doing the roof that's going up there. And we got our trusses on the ground here. So let's check it out. Okay, so I think you can see that. So we're doing these trusses down here, the J2s, the R2 hip. Something you gotta know is this, the R2B. That's how you're gonna find the start of your layout. So you wanna measure the bottom on the R2B and he's gonna tell you where to start your two foot layout for the whole thing pretty much, except for the ones coming from this side. Now the reason it's gonna be a two foot layout is because if you ever got a hip going, it's gotta climb up incrementally in those two foot increments, I guess you could say. Anyways, let's find the R2B. R2B. So, we just wanna grab his measurement. 23 and a quarter. So that means I'm gonna hop over here. Basically mark 23 and a quarter. Now I can pull my two foot layout the whole way. Except for that other one on the other side. Let's go get him so we don't forget. So basically, I'm just gonna do my two foot layout now. Start blasting those trusses on. And uh, let's do it. You can see here too, that first J2, he's not right on the change, so. It's all gonna be just for J2s. So we got our first measurement off the R2B. So we know he's 23 and a half, but so now you're gonna have the R2B. That was your first one. If, if the roof is the same pitch on both sides, then it's gonna be equal hip. So I'm gonna come down here, 23 and a half. Or it was 23 and a quarter or something. What? You want some H clips? Okay, I'll look. Here. Oh, loser! 
Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Okay, here's the next tip. So I'm going to put fascia on, but I want to get a nice good layout on it. So I got to get down to there. I'm going to nail my first one on here. So I'm going to measure from the tail to there. It's going to tell me a number. Let's see what we got here. Okay. So I got 58 and a half, but I want this fascia to run past to be the capper. So we're gonna go out to 60 is gonna be my first mark on the fascia. And then I'm gonna do a two foot layout. So I'm gonna come over here, 60. And then I know my other one's two foot back from that. Four foot, six foot, eight foot, tenner, twelve or thirteen. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I wanna get my total length for my fascia. So I'm just gonna measure it from tail to tail plus three inches. So I got 255 and a quarter. 255 and an eighth. And then, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Gotta add three. 258. Grab your measurement. This 16 foot, so 192 and a half. Construction Master Pro, get it. 65 five eighths. Another good practice is to put uh, these blocks on. We've attached this part. We want to nail it up to the girder, but we want to make sure the measurement's right. So you got to copy the J2. Come down here, butt them in, and we got about 51. So you come over here, grab your measure. Boom, look at that, somebody's already got it there. Crazy, so crazy. And then we're gonna try to nail him up. Say probably right there about. Then you check it. Oh, it's good. Then you just weld the living heck out of it. pull this guy to his home oh yeah he's tight you know when it starts getting tight things are things are happening here ready yep. Hop. That's it, Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. okay now drop it down I'll hook up the stapler okay okay last piece is R2 the hip should fit right in between those and you want it right nice in there, bites. Oh yeah. And then come down here. And then 
then if it was a big long hip, you'd want to put a string and set each of these individually. But we only got one on each side, so just kind of meet them in the middle. It should be, in theory, it should be straight. Pull this one up. Oh, I'm lifting the whole damn thing now. There we go. Okay, so one more last thing on our basic truss layout. Now I want to measure my normal jacks, my J2s. These ones measure from the heel to the girder. That's going to tell you where to set it on the house. So we're going to come in. What do we got? There. So I got... What do we got? We got... We'll just call it 40. Okay, so we're transferring our mark onto the house. You're gonna hook on to framing. 40. Square that off. I seem to remember. 23 and a quarter. I think this one was 15 and an eighth in between. So we'll do that. Square him, go to the other side. Now we get to fly it up. inches off uh, framing. Actually, I got a mark there for it. All right, peeps, so this concludes our basic truss layout. It's very basic, but just some couple important things. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, like, subscribe, and uh, keep checking in for some more cool stuff. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks. Peace out.